possum is about killing possums for profit, for sound environmental management and for NCEA credits. This year, the Northern Regional Council ran three project possum events, each one consisting of a training workshop and an overnight assessment camp. In this, we were supported by the Department of Conservation, Cantrain New Zealand Limited, the local possum industry, all led by Marty Taylor, our secondary EnviroSchools facilitator. Next, the Northern Regional Council plans to run a controlled substance licence course, and this is for community and senior students, and this will equip them with the skills to kill possums in large numbers, thereby opening up further employment opportunities. So, Project Possum continues to um, enable communities, empower students, and that's what EnviroSchools is all about. Project Possum um, it's originated from an idea I had a few years ago where I had a student who wanted to borrow $150 to go and buy some possum traps so they could go and collect some fur and see if he could make some money and pocket money. Um, so I lent him the $150 and two weeks later he paid uh, the traps back and by the end of the year him and three of his mates bought a Hilux truck. You know, you get a bunch of students that are really kind of motivated, they can do well and, and they can uh, make a few dollars themselves. So the students, um, you'll be possum trapping, um, skinning and plucking and um, so you'll need to learn the techniques and, um, and practice and, and practice them so that from an assessment point of view in uh, three weeks time you'll, you'll, uh, you'll nail it. Just checking each trap individually. <coughs> Whoever the trap has a possum in will then dispatch the animal humanely, and I emphasise humanely, <clears throat> and then we'll pluck it, carry on, and then we'll pull our traps out on the way back. I can <clears throat> check everyone first. Yeah, so we'll go in and check them, oh, and then pull our traps coming out, and we're not carrying them all the way in and then all the way out again. Yeah, so, but I would like to emphasise quietness. Over the last couple of weeks I've been assisting with the training of pupils from different colleges um, in trapping and skinning possums etc. This I've enjoyed immensely. Um, any of the young people here that um, have lost interest in school, instead of just drifting off and picking up the doll, I hope will now think about um, pest control. And you don't have to have a flash quad and expensive traps and guns, etc. I had one child here this last week that um, climbs trees and catches them in the daytime. He doesn't get a lot, but that's the start to buy his first lot of traps. So I think there's a, um, a ready market for the young people in the north that are screaming for this knowledge. And I feel privileged to have been asked to pass on some of the things. Um, that I know and um, they're screaming out to know about. Our project possum has been really good. It's given us um, a window of uh, work experience for our, uh, our students to get out into the bush and, and actually experience the whenua. The overall objective is to see if this is the type of work for them and give them opportunities in the future. But yeah, it's all about uh, getting them out there. There are a lot of kids that learn much better when they're actually out in the environment. I'm just the master trapper though. Uh, the real question is uh, how many did you catch? I don't catch any. Mentally? If, if, like, if, those, okay. people, if those people didn't go set their pre-feed and take my possums, they would have still been there. But you see when they set their pre-feed was when my, my possums disappeared. Go! <laughs> So if you tell anyone if they have the opportunity to do it, then go for it because I think it's a means, good experience and it's another set of skills that you can have.